So we had a family come in the store the other day. Uh, the daughter's trombone, she's a high school student here in town, and it had some pretty serious issues. Uh, the hand slide had a problem called red rat. Uh, the scientific name is desincification. And long story short, the, uh, the horn needs some serious work. I'll walk you through this. So I'm sorry, she's very attached to this horn. So I have, I have a technique that is gonna, that it's gonna fix this and it's not gonna be too invasive. So what she has going on here is, this is a little quick fix that we had to do the other day so she could have it back in rehearsal. But red rot is kind of like cancer for brass instruments that unfortunately will happen. So every time she would play her uh, trombone, the air was leaking out of these little pinholes. And, and that's not good, that's not bueno. So. Um, unfortunately, the best option is to replace tubes, and obviously we, we consider um, the instrument, the value of the instrument, things like that when we're doing large replacement. But I've come up with another idea that we're going to do. When we talk to customers like this, we give them other options. In this situation, the best option would have been to probably just look and consider about uh, buying a new instrument. but. Uh, what we realize is this, this girl is really sentimentally attached to this trombone. And then Shrine Mission South has a big competition on Saturday. Yeah. Your last big competition of the year, isn't it? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, hopefully we, we'll have this ready. I'm hoping to get it back to you for that. So cool. That'd be nice. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys okay. very much. We secretly collaborated. I, I explained to the parents that not only do we manufacture custom trombones in Kansas City, but we also do a lot of restoration work, and we do restoration and modifications for customers all over the world. And I thought, you know, since this girl is so attached to this trombone, maybe what we could do is restore the horn and custom modify it, kind of pimp it out. Pimp my trombone, if you will. very short window of time, we had about two and a half days before her last competition with her high school marching band for the year. So our goal was to get that instrument totally restored in about two and a half days time, which is not typically the way we do things. This horn came to us, it's a student level King 606 horn with uh, a couple of road rash blemishes and there was some red rod in the hand slide and a few other dings and you know just the usual wear and tear of a student level instrument. We replaced the hand slide tubes. The original tubes had some red rot so there was some damage there and holes and was leaking and not performing well and we then added just to spice it up a little bit a BAC custom elliptical crook which is what we put on all, all of our pro level custom horns. So it has the original water key and bumper but the crook is now new and will have a little extra spice for, for the, the player. The other part that we replaced was we added a customized uh, main tuning side crook and we added our signature loop brace, which is just a solid stock of brass that weighs the same as the original King uh, counterweight. Okay, so in a typical restoration process, there are, there's a list of things that we do. Uh, we did manufacture a few of the components in advance to be ready uh, to get this instrument done in such a short amount of time. 
But here is what we typically do on a full restoration. We'll take the instrument completely apart, uh, all totally broke down, all the components are pulled apart. We'll strip off all the old lacquer. Depending on what type of lacquer, there's a few different processes, we'll, we'll do that. We'll clean the instrument properly, we'll put it through a chemical bath. Uh, we'll very carefully and meticulously detail all of the major components. So the bell, the main tuning slide, the neck pipe, the hand slide crook, all the tubes, all the bits and pieces. And the goal is to get rid of any pitting, dents, scratches, things like that. There's a lot of time uh, reassembling the instrument very carefully, under no stress. Uh, make sure the horn plays and vibrates properly. And that's when, typically, when we're building the instrument back up, that we'll do some of our uh, modifications where we'll install uh, new components that we've made here in Kansas City. Give it a little extra encouragement here. All right. We'll degrease the instrument, get it prepared for lacquer, and then uh, give it, it's sometimes people like a, a bright, shiny finish. Some people like a satin or a brushed finish. Uh, we've got an antique patina finish we do, and then sometimes we'll do a combination of one or more of those. And then once it's totally ready, we'll shoot it with a clear uh, bake on epoxy lacquer, a clear coat that protects the horn and keeps it, uh, maintains the really nice aesthetic of the instrument. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm going to introduce you to somebody here, a very good friend of the shop. His name is Marcus Lewis. Phenomenal trombone player, located here right now, residing in Kansas City. Uh, he tours regularly with the Janelle Monet Band. She's also from Kansas City. Uh, you can check his stuff out at MarcusLewis.net. He's got the Marcus Lewis Big Band. He's got a lot of really awesome projects, uh, outreach programs he's doing, starting a nonprofit for uh, kids here in the Kansas City area, which is going to be awesome. So we're real happy to have Marcus as one of our endorsing artists. And I just brought Marcus over to play on a couple really cool horns that we did. These are uh, Con 6H trombones, like what Frank Rosalino played on back in the day. Really high end vintage, pro level horns. And we did the full restoration service and tricked them out and all that kind of stuff. But what Marcus hasn't played on yet is another horn that uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw at him real quick. <laughs> so, all right. So we got another one here. Cool. All right, so this, this instrument has kind of a cool story. I won't go into it right now. I just want to get your opinion about it. So play a few notes maybe. Cool, it looks cool.
Yeah, what do you think? Mm, not bad, man. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is a totally different speed. Yeah. May feel a little bit different. What are you feeling on this horn between yeah, the cons? Yeah, it feels just a tad bit smaller, but all right. it's quite responsive. Yeah. You know, good. Right on. Now, Marcus plays on some pretty large equipment. He actually plays on one of our 525, which is like a medium bore horn. Right. So this is a small bore horn, more for the you know, upper register jazz kind of stuff. Uh, Feels comfortable though. Blood yeah, well. like it would be really good, especially like on the Janelle gig, like to cut through. All right, all right, like, cool. you know, right on. So I'm gonna ask them now. These were con six H trombones. Do you have any idea what this started its life as? Uh, it looks like it might be, might be a king. All right, I think some sort of king. Right, like maybe a, a two two B. Yep, two B three B. That's King's pro level horn. Right, this is a king. Oh, awesome. And it was, it started its life as a 606. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's right crazy. That's kind of like right. what I started out on. So right, that's, right. That's okay, cool. yeah. A lot of people started out on the King 606. Uh, so this has got a really special story. Uh, uh, a girl here in town at a high school, very, very sentimentally attached, and mm -hmm. the horn was in pretty rough shape. And mm -hmm. she was very, very, I could tell she was attached to it. So we decided, her parents uh, and us were surprising her with this. Did a full restoration like we've done on these, um, and we actually kind of pimped it out, changed the tuning slide crook, changed the hand slide crook, rebuilt it, changed the outer slide tubes, made a lightweight nickel slide. Oh, that's cool too, I didn't notice the belt. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Some of our custom signatures that you'll find on our custom trombones and, and our custom modified, and only horns that we've worked on and, and done here in Kansas City will have this signature on, on the back of it, so. Cool. Cool, so there you go, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Started man. as a 606, and, and you'd play it on a professional gig, right? Yeah, I would, actually. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, man, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, so the, the big reveal, this was pretty exciting for us. I decided to ask my buddy Marcus to come by and actually participate in the reveal, uh, Marcus Lewis. And uh, the, he actually really helped us sell the secret and the big uh, unveil to, uh, to Laura, the trombone player. Uh, Marcus plays with Janelle Monet, a very awesome singer that happens to be from Kansas City. And Janelle had just sung at the Royals game, the, the final game before they went to the World Series, uh, which is awesome. So Janelle sings at that game. Marcus happens to play in her band. And here is the band gathered at their high school, ready to leave for their competition. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ready to like play some music and do well today? Yeah. Awesome. Right. So I'm here today just to tell you guys that I really appreciate all your hard work that you've done this year, and to just go out there and have fun today and keep up the hard work. As long as you work hard and have fun, everything's going to work out. So give yourselves a hand. We had Marcus give some words of encouragement. And the whole while, he's holding Laura's trombone in his hands, which is perfect, because no one had any, you know, notion that that was her horn. Restored trombone. That is your baby. Oh. What we do is we make trombones in Kansas City and we restore them and make them look new again. And Laura was very attached to this trombone that had a, a sad life and now it looks new again. So there you go. What was going through your mind when the hands were that horn instead of I was, I was like, oh my god. Like that. I don't even, I don't know, I don't know what to think. Well, that's one that lasts for a really long time. Now give us a big sound. Blow. 
One real cool thing is after the big reveal, they had a competition that was uh, about an hour away or so. And I decided to go out there just to, to you know, support the band on their last competition. And I was able to see her get ready to go uh, on the field to perform. And you could just see in her eyes, she's really excited about the whole thing. So if you're interested in uh, getting in the loop and joining the BAC family, yes, we hand make. Now that you've seen this, you'll understand that we hand make custom trombones right here in Kansas City. But another very unique component of what we do is we do restore and we modify uh, existing models. We have a lot of respect for the old makers and the old models that are still floating around today. So uh, we offer BAC custom modified trombones. You'll sometimes find horns that we've taken in on trade that we'll modify, restore, and offer on our Facebook page. Check it out at Cool is BAC. So that's facebook.com slash cool is BAC. We're also exploring offering custom modified trombones and trumpets through some of our dealer network across the country. So if you're interested in finding the nearest BAC dealer to you, uh, go to bestamericancraftsman.com and find the nearest dealer. Tell them you're interested in a BAC custom modified trombone and feel free to send us your horn to Kansas City or go right through your dealer and we'll, we'd love to help you out.